Hey guys, oh god, bit of frame starter there. Welcome back to Dead Space. When we last left off, we were uh, rerouting power to uh, these ADS guns. So, I think that seems to be at least pretty important. Um, you know, I'd rate that fairly high on the important scale. So, let's crack on with that, shall we? We've got our flamethrower topped up and ready to go. Need a light. We've got our boss armor on as well. Hello. Anybody would like to introduce yourself? Now's the time. Got some nice creepo atmosphere going on. Welcome to mining administration. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, that was awkward. Oh yeah, of course, the flamethrower doesn't work. Alright, well, let's have that. Some nice plasma energy. We'll certainly be enjoying that. Oh, would you look at that. A ruby semiconductor. The most valuable kind. Don't mind if I do. At least I think the ruby ones are the most valuable kind. Oh, hello. Good lord. Right. Let's grab ourselves up some nodes and some cash. Oof, good thing we have these magnetic boots on. Definitely be a little bit more awkward otherwise, that's for sure. Still got those stutters. Hmm. Okay. So we've got some new toys to play with, have we? When in close quarters, I like to bring the flamethrower. Alright, what do we got? Nice. <clears throat> nice, I suppose. We shall certainly take it. Contact energy. Very nice. Alright, well. Not a huge amount in here, but, you know, we'll take it. Every little helps. Whoa. Oh, hello. Um, guys? Do you want to... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> they didn't seem that bothered for a minute. You shall not pass. There we go. I tell you what. You love to see it. You love... Oh, look at us. We're looking like a gribbly motherfucker right now. Man, this flamethrower. Yeah, no shit. Definitely don't want to get in the way of that, that's for sure. I would be sad if we run out of flame for our fuel. Ooh, another semiconductor. Lovely. I suppose we can always buy some more, but... There are bodies to burn. Look at these fried motherfuckers. Oh, I love it. Okay. Is that where we came in? That is not where we came in. That is another... Two-stage door. Or level two door, I should say. All right. A med kit. Something you don't tend to see often in this game. I swear we get more nodes than anything else. We've got a text log. All right. What have we got? What have we got? Mining administration log. N. Uh, what's that? 
If I bored you, bored you, okay. Uh, right, trying to work out how fast they spread. The flight deck was the first to go, probably thanks to that shuttle crash. Most of medical was overrun. I'm losing ground by the hour. Engineering can't be far behind. No word from cargo or communications. So not expecting anything but bad news when we do. Our best hope seems to be the mining deck. Dallas says the infrastructure uh, down there is still running. But if they took out security that fast, how long can we hold out? Well, yeah. Not very long, it would seem, sadly. Wait, did we completely loot this place? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Can't grab and pick that stuff up. All right, cool. Yeah, man, if you don't know to cut off their limbs, then you're kind of in a bit of trouble, really. Hello, sir. Can I introduce you? Ooh. Now, now, now. Who would put these people on these spikes? Oh, I guess uh, we don't want nothing from the locals. Alright, whatever. Ooh, we got a bench. Cool. Alright, well, I'll take that. Some creds. What else we've got here? Some more creds. We've got a lot of money again, I think. It would be nice, to be honest. Ooh, hello. Ah. Well, nothing, I guess. Right, well, <clears throat> let's do some bench work. Uh, now, we were actually putting... We were trying to max out the flamer, weren't we? Which we've kind of now done. At least we've maxed the flamethrower out for now. So, let's keep working over the contact beam. Primary fire... Oh, right. Yeah, we definitely want the primary fire damage increased. So, we should be able to grab that soon. Alright. <clears throat> but, you know, holding more ammo is always good as well. Could never have too much ammo. And my phone is going crazy. Alright. Cool. Now... Let's get out of here and see if we can't find a beep to boop. Or a boop to beep. Either or. Now let's go take a pipe for a walk. Anybody want to say hello to my pipe? Anyone? It's very pipey. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Oh, hello. There you go. What do you think of that? Little goblin bastard. Yes. Lovely. Right. Let's put a fresh canister in that bad boy. It doesn't look like there's much going on up here. Okay. Boop. In fact, I would say, all quiet on the old western front. Now, I wonder where the next marker is. I mean, could be anywhere, really. They make a sound effect, thinking about it. Like, when you get close to them. Um, I'm sure... I mean, I've got a guide up on my tablet. <laughs> but I haven't actually looked at it yet. Don't like to turn my head that much, you know. We'll get it anyway. Okay, so everything here is locked out. Admin is definitely not where it's at. Right, so let's turn mining off and put more power into the ADS cannons. 
Yeah, I think that's a fair Just compromise. Power diverted from mining administration network. That's one. We still need more power. A couple more systems should do it. All right, we're on it. We're on it. Oh God. Oh shit. It's one of them mofos that likes to create problems. The problem creator. Yes. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Jeez. All right. Pull back. Pull back. There's another problem creator there. That'll explain why there's so many. Yes, burn. Burn. Music to my ears. I hear him screaming. Oh, we like that. Alright. Alright, calm down. If you wanted more, you only had to ask. Oof. Those plague carriers, or whatever they're called. They're pretty rough. I think we've sterilized this area now, though. So, um, yep. Everywhere checks out here. I reckon we're good to get out of here. Cool. Let's go. Stay frosty. Walk softly and carry a big gun. Definitely uh, the way to handle this situation for sure. Okay. We good? Alright, not bad, Isaac. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go deeper into this infernal hell. Perfect opportunity to drink coffee. Excellent. Imagine a world without... Ooh. Somebody just got got. I guess. Oof. That was a rather blood-curdling scream. Now, we don't know whether it was in our head or not. But... I'm sure we are going to find out. Have a little look in the break room. Oh! Okay. Well, <laughs> I was going to say, if the marker's going to be anywhere, it's going to be somewhere like this. What's that? A recording? Huh. Must be the marker they dug up. So it is the same. That marker. That's the symbol of the Church of Unitology. It didn't take you for a believer, Isaac. My mother was. But if they found this on some alien planet, what does that mean? That Unitology's onto something? Unitology's full of shit. Forget it. Yeah, Isaac's definitely not a believer. But, you know, if they find this on an alien planet, then... Hmm. We, uh, united we ascend. Is Unitology a new hope or is, or just another scam? By Carrie Van uh, Otken. What are you doing over there? My cat's being a pain. Uh, if you've been living on Mars for the last 200 years, you might have missed the fastest growing religious movement in history. Unitology boasts a following of millions, counts uh, counts powerful CEOs and officials in its ranks, claims uh, $78 billion in stock uh, in mo mo multi-global companies and owns two of Earth's largest financial institutions, GPSG Financials and Unitas Energy Investments. From its beginning as a cult of personality, Unitology has become a respected uh, established religion. Most people know the basics. 200 years ago, Michael Altman, a respected geophysicist, blew the whistle on what he claimed to be the biggest cover-up ever uh, instituted by Earth government. The discovery of an artifact or marker which prov proved beyond any doubt that there is alien life in the universe. The government labelled Altman a cook 
and he, his claim struck a chord with some. They always do. Uh, his mysterious death soon afterwards fueled that interest, along with civil unrest and demands for action. Unitologists believe the marker conditioned a code, uh, contained a code, the key to eternal life through rebirth and ascension to heaven. The kicker is you have to die first. They say the government is hiding the marker somewhere, keeping it secrets for themselves. All across all of human space, Unitologists praise Altman's martyrdom and await the day God comes to take them to their new life beyond death. It all sounds pretty harmless. <laughs> Okay, but like any cult, there's a dark side. Uh, Unitologists are ranked in the church. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believed there are at least three ranks above the average believer or initiate. With each new rank, more of the church inner workings and research is revealed to a follower. And these ranks are achieved by one simple criteria, giving money and power to the church. Think taking all of your money is bad. The church also requires their members to donate their bodies after death. Why? What do they do with them? Nobody will say, and attempts to infiltrate the inner circle have failed, with their emphasis on transformation and rebirth. Maybe we sh wouldn't like the answer even if they told us. One rumor that also refuses to die says the church is funding a secret shipbuilding program. Some claim to have seen the fleet. No documentary evidence has ever been supplied, but the claimants say these uh, mausoleum ships. But the claimants all say these mausoleum ships, despite their huge size, continued on page 94. And of course, page 94 is missing. Yeah, these unitards are onto something. Hmm. Mausoleum ships, eh? That sounds fun. Sounds very fun. Still, you know, they seem to work like any other religious organization. Um, except <clears throat> most religious organizations are, are not inherently evil. Far from it, in fact. Okay, so let's yeah, oi, get that out of the way. Now, I'm pretty sure this door puzzle was in the original game as well, thinking about it. Because <clears throat> as soon as I saw this area, I was like, ah, wait, I remember the... Okay, we are quickly running out of the old flame juice, which is not great. We don't like having our flame juice atrophied to the point where we need to be careful with it. Level 3, so we need to come back here when we're on level 3 clearance. Alright, that can be achieved. Wait a minute, I'm sure there's more stuff here, so that's level 3. For some reason, my loot sense is tingling. Yeah. Maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else. It's fine. We're not going to miss any major loot rooms, so we should be good. Right, let's go. So that's the comms access hall. Let's go to the electrical systems. Oh, this looks fun. I can hear you. I can see you. Ah, oh, the humanity. The humanity of it all. Right. Oh, oh. This looks like something out of the Matrix or something. All these massive, like, quantum computer server room type things. Pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, so I'm guessing if we walk into that, it's kind of like an instant dead situation. Luckily. Oh, God. Never realised that Isaac actually reacts if you get too close to that. That's pretty cool. What's the matter, buddy? You're dead. The only good necromorph is a dead necromorph. All 
Alright. Boop. Uh, we've got a little bit of cash. Nothing that's going to make us rich, but, you know, it helps. So much to listen to here. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. Get out of here. Right, where's that other... Yeah, these are high level enemies. Ow. Alright. Think we're okay. For now. What's through this little hidey hole? Ah! Thought you could hide these supplies from me, did you? Ooh. Isaac likes his materials. Oh, careful. Careful, Isaac. You don't want to prematurely cook your ass. Definitely want to take as least amount of damage as humanly possible. This place looks... This place looks potentially rough. Okay. Oh, I can hear one. Oh! Oh shit, hello. Definitely forgot about you, my uh, my dude. That's okay. That's okay. That's alright. Little bit of surgery. Sort you out, eh? Might I rem uh, remind you guys, we are playing on the hardest difficulty. I mean, well, the hardest difficulty that we have available to us anyway. Uh, right. Okay, we're good. I actually totally forgot about that brute. And they always give you a node as well, so... That's nice. Emergency evacuation instructions. Important. Use in non-emergency situations may lead to criminal prosecution. Fire extinguishers located at the far end of all escape pod rooms. Emergency phones are located in every pod fleet and are marked by a blue light. Lift receiver and dial zero for a direct line to the bridge. <laughs> Leave all large personal items. Uh, help others that need assistance. Do not panic or run or use lifts. Safety brochures containing detailed information available from any shift manager. Make sure fire doors are not obstructed. Look out for overloaded sockets. Danger. Do not touch high voltage paddle units which protrude from underneath the escape pods. Sounds safe. In case of fire, sound the alarm. Alert others. Locate exits and extinguishers. Do not stop to assist injured personnel unless you're qualified in first aid. Remain calm and move quickly. So, okay. Um, help others that need assistance. Unless there's a fire. In which case, leave them to die. Alright. Every man for himself. Or woman. You know. Or anybody in between. Right. This looks like some kind of bullshit here. It's a big lump of goop. Alright, let's slow this nonsense down. Turn the electricals off. Okay, I'm seeing a power reroute from the electrical systems. Just watch the outlets. The grid's unstable. That's two. One more system and we'll have power for the ADS. Indeed. Indeed. Nothing going to jump out and attack us? Ah. Oh. Kind of surprised about that, actually. I do like the fact that these 
uh, electrical cables are still glowing red hot. Oof. That is some ampage right there. We're not going to think about that. Wait a minute. How do we get out of here? From water purification. Uh, water purification is probably something that we might want to keep active. Surely. But then, I guess we're not planning on being here long enough, I suppose. Alright. To need to worry about water purification. Isaac, I cracked the Ishimura's Metsai reports. They're a fucking horror show. These things mold any dead tissue into a new form. One kind infects corpses, and the rest... Make more corpses to infect. That organic shit on the walls, that's dead tissue too. The crew thought it was a habitat changer. Isaac, I'm gonna run some diagnostics. I think that stuff's spreading. Oh dear. It's not great, not gonna lie. But, too deep into the issue to worry about it now. No time for tears. Only vengeance and bloodletting. Yeah, those brutes, uh, even when I was playing it first time round, I really did think that they should probably have been a little bit tougher. I mean, you just stasis them, get behind them, and blast the hell out of them. It's very anticlimactic. Oh, hello. Hello, alright. Doesn't oh oh we've got enemy contact lots of contact oh let's see how you like that yeah unfortunately you can just jump can't you you're some kind of smart beast how are we doing a little bit more. Alright. Dude, there is only so much of this to go around. Honestly. Now you were some kind of greedy son of a bitch. Yeah, that's a bit more health. Okay. Now, where are we heading next? How much ammo have we got for this thing, actually? Yeah, we are slowly running out. We might have to go back to this bad boy for a while. That's fine. Okay. Now, there is later on a mission that we do need to do. But I guess we don't have it yet involves uh, something in this bridge. But we're almost out of time now, so we're going to save it. And when we come back, we're going to continue trying to get these ADS cannons online. Hopefully, um, sooner rather than later, because, you know, giant chunks of rock smashing into the hull of the ship probably is going to result in bad things. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.